Well, hello, hello there. Welcome back to the Coliseum of Spectacle and Delight. I, Grizzly Mantis, your guide into this bizarre world of historic today. So, Grixis, you know what, you love it. I do too. Even though, I mean, they always just turn into, you know, a pile of Grixis cards, but... I mean, it's still just such a fun combination to play. Plus, you get to play Daddy Bolas. So why not give it another shot? And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be playing a little bit of Grixis Control here. I got some new stuff. Nothing too crazy. Everything you've seen before. Discard. Push. Removal. I love drawing in the lock in these lists, even though it's hit and miss. Uh, Kroxa, I've trimmed down the last time I played Grixis. I think I played the uh, the giant version with more Grixis, more of an aggro feel. But I'm going to take a step back. We're trying to do more of a mid-range control with this one, hence why I trim down the sweltering suns or at least move them to the board we're upping our commands because our our test today is goblin dark dwellers if you haven't seen this guy is a new two historic thanks to whatchamajigger and it's a four four menace for five enters the battlefield you can cast target instant or sorcery with mana value three or less from your graveyard without paying its cost so you get a free spell out of the deal as long as it's converted mana cost three or less so what do we have to supplement this obviously commands are the best choice and these are some saucy commands called guns and prismari we also have a lone bedevil sweltering suns uh, iteration. God, I love this card. Amazing. Pretty much this entire category, with the exception of Mr. Kroxa. He can move over here with the threats. I mean, it's just value, you know? Being able to wipe the board repeatedly, a sweltering suns against, like, elves, then dank dwellers at right back, it's just a beautiful thing. So really, we're kind of just playing a value town deck. We're going to test out Shadow's Verdict. I think I saw this in uh, someone's list. Maybe last week or the week before, I forget. But it seemed to really pull numbers. In worst case scenario, we just side it out, but... I'm very curious to see how it is in action. It just seems so slow. I usually like Sweltering Suns more because either it's it costs three, it does the job, or it cycles, but I'm always open to new things. And then, of course, rounding everything out, we got uh, big old Daddy Bolas and the Scarab God. I only have Nicol Bolas as a two of, I know, Blasphemous on both accounts, but again, we're trying something new here. We're going to see if the Dank Dwellers can pull through and give us more of a late game. Nothing too crazy in the mana base. I, did, I am squeezing in... Uh, Hall of Storm Giants and Hive the Eye Tyrant because, I mean, they're just they're very useful man lands that can end games on their own. As far as the sideboard goes, nothing too crazy here. We got our Thought Distortions for our control matchups. Sweltering Suns for aggro. Go Blank because why not? Test of Talents. I mean, Go Blank and Test of Talents are... are and maybe, you know what? I think actually what I'm going to do is... Like I, I've just seen so much Tybalt's twattery that I'm going to go down to one Go Blank just kind of as a an anti-control, anti-graveyard, but... I mean, it's okay. It really is just okay. But now that... Ah, man, now that I think about it... Is Shadow's Verdict going to do enough to where I don't need the additional graveyard hate? It's tough to say, because this is so slow. Uh, you know what? I haven't seen a lot of... I had Sudden Edict in here as an answer to... Um, oh, what do you call it? Jeskai... Uh, oh, no. Now I'm all weird. Jeskai... Just guy creativity. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of here. And then right there. There we go. I like symmetry. But in this case, I do. I've just seen Tabal's Twattery more than I've seen Just Guy creativity. So we're gonna go with that. Now, granted, we're probably gonna play it a ton. And I'm gonna miss this edict. But for now, we'll see how it goes. This is just a great way to get rid of their threat, whether it's Nezahal or the Angel herself. Because I doubt they'll name instant with their protection. And this split second means they cannot respond to it except for mana ability. So it usually means a resolve. So, you know what? That's enough babbling. I say we just go ahead and get to the games. Oh boy, it must be my birthday. That's a keeper. Let's see what happens. Am I scared enough to Thought Seize turn one, or do I want to just play the Blood Crypt tapped, save myself two life so I can double Thought Seize turn two? I'm on the play. I'm kind of immune from being Thought Seized back, so I'll save the life. Yeah, who knows? I could, You could regret this immediately, especially if it's not. No! Okay. Oh, okay. So we're looking at like a... Uh... Well, let's take a look at what we're looking at here. I was going to say Phoenix. It is Phoenix. He's got double looting. Yuck. Well, you know what that means. Double looting. Brutal. Get those out of there. Let's play some fair magic. Get 
that blue man out, and we're just gonna start nickel bolusing. Hopefully, it's good enough. First one's gonna get brazen borrowers. Not the worst thing in the world. It does stink because it does mean that. Uh... Ah, crap. At least it can't get brazen borrowed immediately. Anyways, it does does stink. Cause now they have three spells. He discards. I was gonna say it does stink because it allows him to discard the phoenix. But we'll see. We got a backup one. We're a long ways from doing anything here, though. And the worst part about this is, now that we just had that discussion about graveyard hate, yeah, discard the phoenix. So you have three spells, one, two. If he has another one drop, we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Got him. All right, so he's not going with the brazen borrower plan. He's just going to try to kill him. Got him. Does he have the one drop to bring the phoenix back? He does not. Fabulous. Guess who's back? Bola. Is there really a train coming right when I start playing? Okay. All right. Cool. Huzzah, we're back! <laughs> oh, man. 
How good is our opponent at this? We're going to wipe his board, but it ain't going to matter. He's going to get the Phoenix back. He's going to be left with just the Phoenix, and hopefully we can do something about it. A seasoned Pyromancer. Yeah. Cool story, bro. Yep. Glad we killed that. Oh, I can't believe I forgot about the... Uh... Yep. All right, so let's see here. We've got... Uh, so we can kill here. Yeah, let's do that. Just keep killing stuff until hopefully we kill our opponent. Come on, not that. Scare of God. Okay. That's something, I guess. Something's better than nothing. Den of the Bugbear is going to get us, but we'll see what happens. Down to four. Which means not only do we need an answer, we need an answer to the Den of the Bugbear as well. And, of course, we find nothing. Cool. Well, that was aggravating. And the worst part is, I don't believe we have... Well, we do have the Go Blanks. And the Sweltering Suns. And the Test of Talents. And the Aether Gust. And the Narset. Not thought Distortion... Take the suns. Yeah, I'll take the Aether Gust. Do we want to test the talents? To try to hit something like a Faithless Looting? I don't think it's the worst thing ever, but what do we get rid of here? So Shadow's Verdict is, I do not believe, good enough. So we're going to get rid of that. Come on, digging croaks. Uh, I do like Drown in the Lock, especially since they turned it on so well for us. Got four more cards I've got to go. Are the Dank Dwellers not good enough here? Maybe Test of Talents isn't that good. Yeah, it's probably not. And maybe one Dank Dwellers. I'd love the Scarab God here. Maybe one Nicol Bolas. He's not as amazing here as we would like to hope. Thought Distortion's an option, but I think I'm just going to hope that Go Blank gets the job done. I'm, glad I, I'm so glad I put that one back in. Otherwise, I was sitting there thinking that entire game like, man, we really have nothing to bring in here, do we? No Soul God Lantern. Ain't it cool like that? No. Okay. All right, we'll try it. Not super keen, but we've got thought seas. We've got counter spell slash removal because they are gonna fill their graveyard. Let's see if it's good enough. I don't, I don't like keeping two landers, <laughs> and for some reason, Grixis we can just never seem to hit our land drops. I realize we're playing in this list again, I forget. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 25, that's a fair amount. Alright, give me that Dragon's Rage Channeler or Faithless Looting. Oof, Mystical Dispute, I keep that in mind. Yeah, that's the best card. We can Thought Seize away the other one. Not the other one, excuse me, the Expressive Iteration, then our opponent just has nothing. Nice. Cool. Let's hit it. What do you draw? Den of the Bugbear? It's pretty good. Man, it's hit the iteration. Play the hall. And now we're just waiting. We at least drew a land, but we didn't draw a red land. He's up to two cards. So we can't counter the Pyromancer. Ah, oh, you know what? In hindsight, I should have taken the Pyromancer, then I could just counter the uh, expressive iteration. The only problem with that is. They usually wait on the iteration. Well, no, because they want to get the land drop off of it. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should instead of taking the iteration, I should take the Pyromancer and then draw the lock the iteration. I gotta stop letting my opponents psych me out, man. Yep. Yep. Here comes the Pyromancer. Or something else, you know, could be the looting. We have to let the Pyromancer go, but then, like I said, we got John in the lock. Maybe I shouldn't have taken out all the Shadows of Reddit because of Pyromancer, but... If we can find something here, then something's better than nothing. Like I said, we just gotta take value everywhere we can. I got to do my play regardless. Yeah. Red mana, good. 
Now we're playing around Mystical Dispute for the rest of the game, but that's okay. Do I want to loot? Yeah, I probably do. No. Do I want to loot? Or do I want to just make a treasure? I'll loot. Just kill him now. Ugh, of course. What do we got in the graveyard? Oof, that's risky. He just go to two of my phoenix. At least he didn't get a land in the plate tapped. Alright, well. Save us, daddy. Or not. Nice. Oh, brutal. Oh, brutal. That's pretty good. My schemes are never ending. All right, well, now Scarab God's back. We gotta get that dank dwellers. Yep. Yep. And he can what? Is he gonna flash back it? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's tough. I think I just want to wipe the board right now before he can do anything about it. Yep. I say, like, what's holding priority? Oh, we can activate the den. I'm gonna keep the Narset out. He needs to deal with it. He needs to draw the land, activate the den. Oh, that beat. Oh, it doesn't beat it, but that gets around it. But that's another turn for Narset to stay alive. Let's see what he finds. He's got double Phoenix. And there's the land. I gotta make sure I can pay for Mystical Dispute here. Now we can block the den. So is he already? If he's there, oh yeah, he's there. Yep. Oh, don't let me untap, brother. You won't be happy if I untap. Oh, you should have waited to the end step. Now I get it back this turn, which is fantastic. Hmm. Just gonna do this right now. <laughs> oh, the scare of God. He is pretty scary. All right. Yeah, we definitely need that other sweltering sounds. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, Nikki B. Is Shadow's Verdict still good enough? I mean, it hits... It doesn't hit the Phoenix. It hits everything else, though. Phoenix is one of the biggest problematic things. I think I'm going to ditch one Kologon's Command. I might ditch another one. I just feel like that two damage that does something. Coligans is definitely the weaker of the two in this matchup. IMO. Well, I guess we could try it. Try it. I don't know. I think I'll take Nikki B, but oh wait, we're on the draw. We don't want Nikki B on the draw. 
Do I try? Do I, do I try to test their talents? If we can hit like one thing, it does its job. Ah, oh, it just seems so bad. I mean, it's a big if. I hate ifs. It probably should, honestly. I probably should. I'll just take the bedevil. I don't want the bedevil. I don't think I want the one that's in there. Alright, fine. Fine. We'll do it. We'll do it just for experimentation purposes. How cool would that be? Test of town to faithless looting. <laughs> Stop giving me hands I want to keep. Faithless looting. He's like, ha, no thoughts these for you. Very true. Double lands. That's scary. Oh my god, we actually got it. Well, that shit's hilarious. Alright, what you got for me? Get out of here. Okay. Beep. In hindsight, I probably should have just played the scene vents untapped and zapped the uh zapped the faithless looting with Test of Talents, but we'll see. Two lands again, that's rough. Hmm, I can play the untapped land here and pass. I'm gonna hold up Test of Talents and Fatal Push just in case he runs something out there and then tries to protect it. Got it. See if it works. Oh boy, did it ever. Opt for a good pathway. Looting, looting. Get those out of there. Put my scraper. Get that out of there. Peace! Didn't go for the opt. Interesting. I can't opt into a counter spell, which is nice. Go hand, library, exile. We'll whack him with Inquisition. See how he likes it. Eh, I'm gonna probably go with the Blood Crypt tapped. This feels good, but Den of the Bugbear will just end us if we don't find something else to do here. What'd you get? A land. Scariest thing possible. I'm not even kidding. We got four turns to find an answer to this den. Or else we in trouble. Yup. That ain't it. This den is gonna end us. No, all that work. He's tapping out every turn. All right, let's go ahead and cycle this. Fatal push off the top. That's a land. Wow. Okay. A lot of lands. That is an answer. We can zap and loot. Also, say don't attack. Okay. Yep. My is on an open mind. We'll take it. Although I really could have used that. We're, we're gonna use removal spells on tokens. Why? <laughs> hmm. Do I care about that more than the token? I got a three turn clock here. Yep. Is that last card what I think it is? It is not. Again, now it's like, where's that Shadow's Verdict? Ah, 
that's what the last card was. Well, now I'm dead. Oh, well. Man, the backup backup plan got us. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, wow. The gods must be looking on us favorably. Well, that's Keeper. We got that Shadows Verdict. We can actually see if it does anything. Grixis Pile. Ow. Oh. Ah, too late. I already saw it. Mono Red. You can't hide from me. Let me see that again. Let me see it again. Show me that head. Annex. The Hasty Goblin. Ember Cleave. Alright. That means we need Bedevil. And Ether Gust. That's about it. What don't we need? I'm going to keep Shadow's Verdict in, even though it's so slow. Uh, I think I'll just take out the Thought Seizes. I know. It's a little risky. A little risky. Especially since Thought Seize obviously won that game. <laughs> Thought Seize you. No! We don't see we're not playing with my super secret tech. And we got Inquisition, so we'll see. Yeah, it's about as good as we can hope for in this situation. Start off with the Hive. Here he is. Let's see what he gives haste to. Ow. <laughs> my tech's like... Oh, the removal! Gives it to the Bone Crusher Giant. Got it. Robber of the Rich. Hey, I needed. No, I didn't. I think I'm gonna get rid of that relic. And then, uh, so I can. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> this is i just want to point out just to confirm that just happened in mythic that literally just happened in mythic i mean i ain't gonna look at torch in the mouth <laughs> hmm no okay that's better Okay, ditch the dank dwellers. Yeah. No, the double red. Got the push though, so we'll keep it. Goodbye, dankies. All right, see what we're up against here. Other side from Tybalt. Oh no! Well, I could be wrong, but it's probably Tybalt's trickery, and I don't think. Well, we got test of talents. That's about it, right? Yeah, it is. Well, yeah, this hand ain't gonna do anything. Yep. I guess we can try to find something here. Uh, sure. Oh, hand. Let's see. Black, black, black. Black, 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 black. I mean, this one's pretty much over regardless, so. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's see what nonsense he pulls out, and then we'll bring in our, our nothing. He has no, oh my goodness gracious. Well, this is interesting. This is taking a turn in a direction I did not foresee. No way to to start ranking them with discards. I think we're just going to go with the Ravager here. Next turn, we can hit him with Kolagon's Command and Kroxa, or we can just go Nikki B power. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, all you do is top deck a land. Let's see what he hits. Could be over, could not be over. Tybalt's twattery. At least he's playing fair and best of three. That's awfully nice of him. Is that a Mind's Desire? It is! Okay, well, at least we get a show before we die. It's not just like, oh, Lamog, I did it, guys. <laughs> Omniscience. All right, we'll, we'll see if he has anything in his hand worth playing. He discarded the Ulamog. Now he won't concede them just yet. Yes, that's a Nicol Bolas. I can't do anything about his Omniscience, so just do something cool. We 
That's it? Please tell me you drew something cooler than that. Okay. Good enough. <laughs> God, this deck. Thanks, wizards. Okay, well, negate. Aether Gust. Test of Talent. Alt Distortion. Yeah, that's probably it. Get rid of the suns. Inquisition is pointless. Thoughtseize is okay. Don't like the devil. I mean, these things help us find stuff. Get rid of, oh, well, of course, Fatal Push got to go. Now we're running out of stuff to get rid of here. So I'll take a Narset. Helps me find stuff. Oh, God, I don't want this crap either. Jeez, come on, people. Blinks, I guess. I'm out of stuff to get rid of. Just bring in a bunch of counter spells and hope that's good enough. Colgon's command, maybe? Shadow's verdict, maybe? No, those are both suck. Does anything here do anything? I guess Colgon's command this is instant speed discard. <laughs> Inquisition does nothing. Thank Dweller doesn't really do anything. Okay, well. <sighs> Mold a test of talents and hope it's good enough. <sighs> on the play, sir. Maybe on the play. Okay. I'll go get a mountain. Thought sees. I don't need to go get a mountain, I can just go get a swamp. Interesting. I could hit the magma opus to slow it down, or I could just hit the throws. It's got Niv Mizzet hanging out here, too, huh? These are all good cards. If we hit the opus, he has to play super slow. Okay. Go fetch a swamp with this passage. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Okay. Just checking. That was just a uh, magma opus check. Which I'm hoping he didn't draw another one. If he did, this would be the dumbest thing in the history of dumb. Alright. That's terrifying. Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's terrifying me. Like, did he draw it? Alright. Let's let the fireworks begin. We only have to negate it like ten times, guys. Okay, alright. Not going for it. Interesting. Black, 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 all the black. To just ah. Uh... Well, next turn Nikki B comes down, and we hold up in the gate. Yep, he's playing the long game. It's fine with me. Oh, sure. Mm, I'll decline. I wonder if that was his test to see if I would, like, counter back. Obviously I wouldn't, because now Crooks is on. Yep. So the key here, you can't let the triggers off. Let's hope he doesn't have red elemental blast, eh? Guess who's back? Grokes is back. Grokes is back. Grokes is back. Grokes is back. Okay.
Here's attempt number two. We're still a ways away from Nibby Mizzy. Nope, no attempt. Nope. He can make this into a 4 4 and block our hive of the eye tyrant. I wonder if that's the plan. I only have two mana left over, so I can't thought seize. He's a ways away from casting the. Well, it has a menace, so he can't block it. Let's do it. Mm, that one. Two, four, five, six. Oh no. Commence the end game. Sure. Make a 3 3. I mean, he still can't block it. It has a menace. But well done. You got me. Alright. Next turn, he'll be able to block and kill Croxus. So we gotta be careful. We do another one. Cool. How's about no, Scott? Perfect. Where are you at, brother? There you are. Let's get rid of that crap. We can thoughts he's away the nickel, or excuse me, the uh, Nibby Mizzy. And hopefully this will just take it home. I'm at 12, though, so I gotta be mindful of that. Can't block him, he has menace. Now I'm gonna be at 10 against this. Boop! Alright, so if he doesn't top deck another one, we'll be good. If he top decks another one, we're screwed. If he doesn't, we win! <laughs> My opponent literally has to cast one card successfully. And these are the hoops we have to jump through to stop it. Is there anything I want to change? I don't believe so. I think that was as good as it's gonna get, honestly. As far as what we can do and. Yeah, I know. I'm not even keen on Scarab God. It's just a dead weight, but there's I mean, what am I going to take it out for Kogan's command? Well, actually, it's not. It's not dead weight. I should keep that in mind. Because now we've seen Nibby Mizzy. We see he has backup plans. Hey, I'll give him credit. He's not just one of the tip alt twatters in Best of One who's like, cast my spell, it doesn't work, I scoop. This guy's at least trying to make it work in Best of Three. Credit where credit's due. He's going to be on the draw. I don't know why. <sighs> Come on, opponent. Nope. Just not worth it. Much better. Much better. Not much better, I should say. This is acceptable. Not feeling good about it, because I want to fetch out red, but of course we can't fetch out red. We have to... Well, I guess we could fetch out red. We don't conceivably need to thaw seize until a certain point. Fetch out red for the iteration. I do wish I knew... Problem is, we don't have a backup plan here. If our opponent does have the turn three trickery. I do like that he actually, I, didn't, I don't know why this just occurred to me, that he actually has the Tybalt avatar to advertise, you know. Hey, this is what you get. Maybe I should have molded five, in all hindsight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch out an I oh yeah, excuse me, a mountain. Let me do this now, see if it sticks. Mm, this just hurts. This hurts. Something's passing priority. Oh, he does have it. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Well, then we gotta hold it. We can always Prismari command. He's got it. But will it do anything? God. It's like now we gotta find at least two more counter spells and black mana. 
We got a negate. Where's my test of talent? Didn't I bring like three of them in? Two of them? Three of them? Three! There's three of them in here, people! Just make the treasure. That's what it's holding priority. Or timeout. I'd be happy with a timeout. Aw. Aw. Yeah, nothing I can do. Well, let's get it started. Ah. Let's get it started. Oof. Let's get it started. So it begins. Maybe he won't have another land. Oh! No! <laughs> Maybe he won't have another land. He actually doesn't. Oh, magic gods, don't let him draw an untapped land. Magic gods, can you hear me? If you can hear me, that'd be fabulous. This deck deserves to be beaten by the fairest of fair Grixis. Oh, <laughs> the magic gods, they heard me. I'm very tempted to go blank. But I do think we, the better idea is to Prismari Command into Test of Talents. Yes. Then we can go blank. He's got another one. Okay. That is what we're going to do. Target player, trust your cards, create your treasure token, that guy, that guy. We we're going to discard a Steam Vent and a Kroxa. Make our treasure token. Say not today, sir. Get out of here. And now we start the beatdown. Uh, 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 uh. So I kind of want more Croxa, you know? I have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear right here. Goblin Dank Dwellers. Nah, definitely going Croxa. Ooh, it feels so good. All right, let's make sure we don't hit things that the Dank Dwellers can hit. Four. And a Thought Seize. Mmm, yeah, baby. Oh, feels good. This will be a nice quick clock. And let's go. Show me what you got. Come on, T-Ball. He's like, good job, kid. Don't get cocky. I want to play it. Does present. Does present. Oh, there's no basics left. That's okay. <laughs> I know. Um, that's expressive. That was dumb to play it, but that's okay. Don't need you anymore, but I do need to present lethal. Yeah, I played the land before I realized all three of my basics are right there. But it had. I have to show lethal. Oh, Tibbles Twattery! Bam! Ooh, ooh, love it! All right, we are back for the old wrap up, and uh, Grixis is great when it works. I mean, that's Grixis in a nutshell, right? It is fantastic when it works. So, what works? What didn't? I did not like Shadow's Verdict. Granted, we didn't play much aggro in general we played one aggro list that kind of folded onto itself at the sight of a single thought season and just refused to play anymore and that's about it but i don't know i might move the shadows verdict to the sideboard like maybe something like 
I wouldn't even do many of them personally. I still like this better. And then uh, one Shadow's Verdict. You might go up to a two of, actually. I might be willing to go two of here. And something like that. And then the main deck that opens up one more slot. Probably the fourth Fatal Push. Or... A Lantern. Something that I we do not have. Worst case scenario, cycles. Yeah, everything else I like. I don't. Uh, yeah, the shadows verdict were a bit much. I'm still not a big fan of those. I like everything in the sideboard. I could use more Narset. Narset's great, but overall it's fantastic. So yeah, if you're into Grixis, I mean Grixis is still good. It's just it's one. It's 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 kind of like the dilemma we were into last time, where Grixis is magic at its best in that it is fair. You're doing everything at your own pace. You're handling things as they come up. It's fair. This is fair control. No torrential gear hulks, no commit to memory shenanigans that other control decks do, but also no combos or anything like that. So if this is your jam, it is still jellytastic. But that is all for me. I will see everybody later.